Greetings viewers. Welcome to another video about the uh, model railway controller that I'm currently working on. Um, in this video I'm going to go over the uh, systems and uh, circuits that I'm working on in a little bit more detail and describe what progress has been made so far. So we've got the uh, program on the right. It's a very old and original pick start development program which I've adapted to do in circuit serial programming of the the pick. Got the development board in the centre which is uh, something I built myself a long time ago. And on the left hand side we've got the, uh, the tone decoder board. Uh, it consists of a uh, electric condenser mic uh, which is the output of which is fed into an LM386 audio amplifier which gives us a degree of gain. Uh, and then the audio is then fed into two LM567 tone decoder chips. Uh, there's two because uh, they're tuned to different frequencies, uh, one at 1500 hertz, the other at 2150 hertz. Uh, those two frequencies and the output from the two uh, ICs represent uh, binary 1 and binary 0. Uh, so uh, basically they're both positively discriminated and it's not just uh, a 1 is a tone and then nothing is a 0. Uh, so uh, we should have clear 1s and clear zeros, and obviously they both can't uh, be on at the same time, otherwise it would be an invalid input. Bear in mind it's only a prototype on strip board, there's lots of room for improvement. Um, the gain of the LM386 is currently set to 200. The range of the uh, detection from the uh, mobile phone is currently about 10 feet, um, but there's plenty of things that can be done to improve that. Uh, I've not started really looking at uh, you know input filters and, and boosting the gain further with different devices. It's really being built from uh, components I had lying around. But so far it's working quite well. At the moment I'm calibrating the, um, the timer on the PIC microcontroller. So I'm basically subdividing the clock with the prescaler and the timer and also with a count in code. To, uh, so I can calibrate it to the the message sent out by the mobile phone. You'll see the uh, microcontroller is actually executing the code at the moment. When I click the program the button to program the uh, the pick on the laptop, you'll see the execution stop. Uh, the two right hand red LEDs that represent the uh, bit 6 and bit 7 of the, of the B port will start flashing to show the in-circuit programming is taking place. There they go. It re-executes and then starts to verify so it goes back to communicating that it's pulling the code back off the chip to check it against the what was written and, uh, and then once it's successfully verified it goes back to executing the code. So this is a quick demo of the, um, the PIC programming sequence. So having written the instructions I simply save the file and uh, to assemble it I use the MPASM assembler I've already selected the file, assemble, no serious problems so that's ok. Then I go to the IC program, open the hex file that's just been created by the, uh, the assembler. This one. So if the in-circuit programmer is connected, I can just simply choose to program all. Confirm with a yes. The program will go through the uh, process of writing the data, the code, any configuration, and it will verify it. it indicates it successfully verified and the job's done. So now I've programmed the, uh, 
a pic with the latest code from the project. And as you can see, I've uh, devised a little header to uh, top left under the development board. It allows me to plug the tone decoder circuit board into the development board. So the, now the output from the tone decoder is being sent into bits uh, 2 and 3 of port A. Uh, and the yellow and green LEDs at the top right hand corner of the development board are connected to uh, bits 0 and 1 of uh, port A. Uh, and so uh, I haven't got them simply wired together. The, the pick is actually repeating and slaving the uh, input from the tone decoder. This is just to make sure I've got the basic connectivity correct before I start doing anything serious with the incoming data. So now if I uh, transmit a command to the tone decoder board from the, from the phone, um, the tone decoder board LEDs and the LEDs on the uh, development board will flash in synchrony. Whatever I do with the message, they'll uh, do as they're told. I've also boosted the uh, the oscillation, the clock frequency of the pickup um, to about one megahertz, and uh, this speeds the response time up. And uh, there's no lag or latency between the two sets of LEDs at all. So, next stage, on to some writing, some serious code. So, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for other videos because we'll be covering all aspects of this project uh, as I go forward. Thanks, bye.